Hey everybody, I'm Political Destruction, and today I'm going to go over a tutorial on how to make a dubstep talker basis or whatever genre you want to use them in. The choice is yours. Um, I think everybody knows what talker basses are. They're like sounds in Skrillex. They're synths that mimic like voice type sounds, I guess is the best way to put it. Anyways, um, or you could just listen to my examples. That'd be cool too. Um, here's some examples that I've just taken out of songs that I've made in LMS. So here you go. Take a listen. Yeah. All right, so there's some examples of uh, the talker bases that I've made. That's pretty simple how to make them, just nobody... Nobody that I know has done a tutorial on them. Laserblade has uh, has some stuff on making dubstep in LMS. In LMS, sorry for my slurring of words, but he does. He uses a lot of VSTs, and um, I don't like to use VSTs because they've been nothing but problems for me in LMS. So I've just had to um, use what's built into LMS, the plugins here. But anyways, moving on. Now, how to make talker bases? Uh, it's just basically. A lower, like a bassy type synth that's all slightly distorted at the start, and then you use a decimator filter and um, use the turn the decimator lower so it makes it sound all bit crushed and eight bit type, and then you want to turn a resonance high on filter and then use the um, low pass filter basically. But I'm going to go over those steps right now, so I'm going to create a new uh, triple oscillator. Going to open the triple oscillator, then I'm just going to make a uh, a sawtooth square and another sawtooth, so that should sound. Hmm. That should work. It's not very that picky, not very too picky. Oh, I cannot talk today. This is my first uh, screen recording in a while too. So it's my first recording in a while. My first uh, screen capture in Windows too. Anyways. So the first effect you want to apply is a decimator, not the smooth decimator. If the decimator is not there, then you'll have to talk to somebody else on how to get it there because I don't know how to get it there. Sorry. Then you want to turn, uh, I like to keep mine around 1800, but I guess I can't get it at 1800, so I just leave it at 1700 there. And um, leave the bit depth all the way up or else that'll make it sound just totally crappy. Then you want to go to the uh, LFO, sorry, that was... Uh, the first effect you want to apply is a decimator. I don't know if I said that. I'm not very good at this. Then you want to go to the uh, envelope and LFO section. Turn on the filter, low pass, turn the resonance really high, and then modulate the cutoff using uh, another automation lane over here. Go away. And you turn on your filter, and then if you play some notes, and you move the cutoff very, like, very slightly on the lower frequencies, you will have that slight talker bass type sound like this. Let's see if I can do it. Lower notes be work better. And you've got to be very uh, gentle with your mom with your uh, movements, or else it um, it just doesn't work for some reason. That's not what I wanted to do. I haven't used LMS in forever, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm just gonna put in some notes here, some right there. Oops, how do I copy notes? I forget. Anyways, like I said, I haven't used LMS in a while, so I'm just going to draw random notes out. So it's going to be whatever that is. And then on your automation lane, do that. Then you want to drag the uh, cutoff knob into that automation lane. And then in the, when you open the automation lane, it probably won't open full screen like that. And... Then I like to have my uh, quantization all the way at 64. That way I can do like really fine notes like this. Instead of it like, say if I had it on one, it would just, it's not as, you don't have as much fine control over it. So I'm going to get rid of all that. And then the trick for making talking bass is just to modulate really low. So I'm just going to drag all the way there and use, here's a tip that not everybody knows and I didn't know for a long time. If you hold shift in the automation editor, it will draw a straight line between uh, your last point that you touched. So, since my last point is in this corner, if I hold shift, it draws a straight line there, and then I go back down to this corner. 
hold shift, it does draw a straight line between it. And then so, so, like this. If we continue, the trick for making automations in uh, talking bases just to not make them too. Uh, the trick is, I mean, you don't want to make them go like really high, or else you'll lose the uh, dynamic of the talking base. So if we exit out of here, you'll see there's the. Uh, I can't really zoom in, but it's there. So if we play that talking base back, it sounds like a talking base, and people with more musical talent than me, I'm sure, could figure out some more interesting things. You can do stuff like that, just rises. Uh, let's see how that sounds. That might be a little too high though. The trick is to keep them really low. Um, that's just because of how how this talker bass is made. I can't totally explain it. I just know that this makes talking bass sounds. So if you want to make talking bass sounds, I do this. Let me do that. Just leveling it. Oops, I screwed up there. Just leveling this out so I can draw better rises. And good enough for me. So if we play that back, it should sound like a yo 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 something like that. I don't know. Whoops. Yeah, something like that. And if we go back up here and then go down, of course it's going to sound. It's going to go up and down in the frequencies. You can also use this to change notes and slide between notes. I've had some really cool ideas of like how to make some Skrillex type sounds, like using uh, automating this, the little center note there thingy, but I've just been way too lazy to do it. <laughs> so, let's play that. Just just messing around here. So this this is just formations that I've used in songs. You can go down, up, up and down, up, just straight down, whatever you choose really. Um, but like I said, the trick is just to get a distorted synth. So, I mean, I just you could use this one if you wanted. I have this one up here too, which is pretty cool. That was That's one I have used in my newest song that is not finished yet, of course. And um, I'm just going to go over the steps now. It's just simple steps. You just get a low distorted type bass, play a low note, like right there. Then you go to your effects, apply a decimator filter. The decimator effect, then turn your sample rate down to around lower than I'd say 2500. Keep the bit depth all the way up. Don't mess with any of the other gate stuff on there. Then you want to go to the LFO, uh, LFO envelope filter. Turn on the filter, make sure it's either a low pass, well, either of the low pass filters is fine. Then turn the resonance up to probably about half, I guess, to so 12 o'clock. And then you're going to modulate using the automation track, the cutoff filter, and you're going to edit it so that it changes roughly from like no more than a thousand hertz I guess if you're going by the scales on there also another trick um, to make really easy distorted bass is just to use the uh, organic synth and just hit the distortion all the way up on that it sounds pretty, pretty cool right that was really loud actually I'm sorry for that if that was too loud try and edit that out or something but that's a that's a simple way to make that was actually the first intro I ever made a talking bass on and I just called my friends like dude I figured out how to make the talking basses anyways that's how you make talking basses in LMMS and for dubstep um, if you all want more tutorials just leave a li uh, like comment subscribe per uh, personal message private message whatever you know if you want to see more tutorials just let me know I'm down for it so Thanks for watching, and how do I stop this thing?